Okay, so it's 10 o'clock in the morning right now, and all the businesses are still closed, which is funny. Do what they want. Today, the mission is the Vatican. That's the number one. We have a tour at 11.15, and then possibly go do a few other things, but the number one mission today is to see the Vatican. However, can't bring the camera. I'm not supposed to have bulky objects, I'm not supposed to have the camera, so probably not gonna be able to vlog out of respect for the Catholic religion. Probably not even gonna try, and I'm actually not gonna go if they confiscate my camera. So, fingers crossed, but we'll take you with us for the rest of the day. Okay, a little bit of a 20 minute walk later, we're approaching St. Peter's Square. And I think I'll be able to film here because we're not in the Vatican yet, so. It's pretty remarkable, check it out. Word of caution, leave yourself plenty of time, which we did. We're still a little short on time. We can't find where we're supposed to go for the tour. So, leave yourself some extra time if you're trying to go on a tour or coming to Vatican City. Um, you can definitely, it was recommended to me, you could spend a whole day here. And we've only been here five minutes and I concur because it's just, it's remarkable. It's huge. It's cool. We're going to do the Swiss go. We put our two cents together and ask some people that work here. Now we're gonna go around to the right. And hopefully that's where we need to be. The journey continues. Okay, so we made it. I'm trying to be quiet because I don't think I'm supposed to be filming it here, but we're waiting for the tour right now. If you come on this tour, face the basilica, face the, the main church, go to your left, keep walking to the security guard area. They check your stuff kind of like the airport, and then you just follow the instructions. So, um, I'm gonna put the camera away. I'll check in when we're done. Thoughts after the St. Peter's Tombs tour. Um, it's fantastic. It was only for two of us 26 euro. Amazing. So an hour and 15 minutes. Hour and 30 minutes. Hour and 30 minutes. But highly, highly, highly recommended. That's it. We're going to go check out the rest of. Uh, What are your thoughts so far? So much detail on every single little thing. It's pretty, I mean, I don't have words. It's just, I can't really describe it. Like, look at the ceilings. Inside, right? Door. We've been walking around inside here for two hours. <laughs> and everywhere we turn, there's new stuff we didn't see. What do you think now of it? Is it a must-see attraction? Oh, yeah. Easily? Yes, go to that. Spend a whole day here? Should we head out? Thumbs up. If you're here, I would say go and take your time at the Vatican, Vatican City, spend the whole day there. Just take it in, read all the little scripture that they have about each piece, and um, 
get there early to avoid long lines and crowds. So we're gonna grab some food, maybe some drink, and then tomorrow we're gonna hit Spanish Steps. Spanish Steps, Trevi Fountain. Trevi Fountain, a couple other things that are not hopefully gonna take all day. Because tomorrow's our last day here before we leave for Venice. So <laughs> we'll see you later. Psych, vlog's not over yet, because we just discovered this. <laughs>